Major news in the Prop 8 case with new briefs filed before the U.S. Supreme Court. Another survey shows a majority of Americans support the freedom to marry. So why is the Republican Party turning its back on relationship recognition? And challenges to the Defense of Marriage Act were already on the fast track, but now that track could get even faster. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for August 27, 2012. Late last week, AFER filed a brief with the U.S. Supreme Court asking the court to deny the Prop 8 proponent's latest attempt to stop couples from marrying. Two courts have now found Prop 8 to be unconstitutional, and now the proponents are making a last-ditch effort to have those victories overturned by the Supreme Court. AFER's position in its new briefs is that the previous decisions were correct and don't require any further review. The next step is up to the U.S. Supreme Court. They could decide as soon as late September whether to rehear our case. If they choose not to take it, the Ninth Circuit victory will go into effect and Prop 8 will be gone for good. And if they do decide to take it, Avers attorneys are prepared to defend our previous wins before the U.S. Supreme Court. In other news, yet another national poll has shown that a majority of Americans support the freedom to marry. This time it was a Washington Post-Kaiser survey showing 53% support to 42% opposed. This makes the 14th national poll to show our support at over 50%. But despite this undeniable trend in public opinion, the Republican Party is headed towards a platform that doesn't even recognize civil unions. The party's platform committee last week voted down a plank that would have included limited relationship recognition. In response, the group Young Conservatives for the Freedom to Marry has denounced the move as disappointing. They vowed to continue working towards building Republican support for marriage equality. And finally this week, a fourth DOMA case is now awaiting a decision from the U.S. Supreme Court. The case in question is Peterson v. Office of Personnel Management, in which one federal court has already found DOMA to be unconstitutional. Typically, the case would now be reheard by the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, but the plaintiffs, represented by gay and lesbian advocates and defenders, want to skip the Second Circuit and go directly to the Supreme Court of the United States to settle the matter once and for all. As with the Prop 8 case, the Supreme Court will begin deciding which cases to take in late September. So you can expect major news about the freedom to marry then, just a few weeks before the election. Visit AFER.org to learn more about our case to overturn Prop 8 and win full federal marriage equality. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.